The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. And also with you. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Okay, Steve is going to lead, and if I, we don't have any books out, so just a, as much as you know the song, sing with us. <laughs> so we'll start off with I Surrender All. We're going to sing one, three, and five. <laughs> we'll sing verses one, three, and five, I reckon. Okay. <laughs> shows us his love by becoming a humble servant. Who is in the position to condemn? Only Christ. But Christ suffered and died for us, was raised from the dead, and ascended on high for us, and continues to intercede for us. Believe the good news. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are forgiven. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are forgiven. Glory to God. Amen. Let us pray. Holy and gracious God, we give you thanks for all the blessings of life. Lord, for your light that guides our paths. Lord, so often we are struggling. We're wandering, somehow not quite sure which way to go. And so we give you thanks that you are the light. You shine the light on our path and through the, through the authority of the Holy Spirit, you guide us into being transformed more like Jesus every day. Now be with us through the service and we'll give you praise and glory in Christ's name. Amen. Our first scripture lesson comes from Exodus, the 12th chapter. 
And this is the first 14 verses. The Lord said to Moses and Aaron in Egypt, This month is to be for you the first month, the first month of your year. Tell the whole community of Israel that on the tenth day of this month, each man is to take a lamb for his family, one for each household. If any household is too small for a whole lamb, they must share one with their nearest neighbor, having taken into account the number of people there are. You are to determine the amount of lamb needed in accordance with what each person will eat. Animals you choose must be year-old males without defect, and you may take them from the sheep or the goats. Take care of them until the 14th day of the month when all the people of the community of Israel must slaughter them at twilight. Then they are to take some of the blood and put it on the sides and tops of the door frames of their houses where they eat the lambs. That same night they are to eat the meat roasted over the fire along with bitter herbs and bread made without yeast. Do not eat the meat raw or cooked in water, but roast it over the fire, head, legs, and inner parts. Do not leave any of it until morning. If some is left till morning, you must burn it. This is how you are to eat it, with your cloak tucked into your belt, your sandals on your feet, and your staff in your hand. Eat it in haste. It is the Lord's Passover. On that same night, I will pass through Egypt and strike down every firstborn, both men and animals, and I will bring judgment on all the gods of Egypt. I am the Lord. The blood will be a sign for you on the houses where you are, and when I see the blood, I will pass over you. No destructive plague will touch you when I strike Egypt. This is the day you are to commemorate. For the generations to come, you shall celebrate it as a festival to the Lord, a lasting ordinance. And then in Psalms, our Psalter for the day comes from 116th Psalm, verses 1, 2, and 12 through 19. I love the Lord, for he heard my voice. He heard my cry for mercy. Because he turned his ear to me, I will call on him as long as I live. How can I repay the Lord for all his goodness to me? I will lift up the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord. I will fulfill my vows to the Lord in the presence of all his people. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. O oh Lord, truly I am your servant. I am your servant, the son of your maidservant. You have freed me from my chains. I will sacrifice a thank offering to you and call on the name of the Lord. I will fulfill my vows to the Lord in the presence of all his people, in the courts of the house of the Lord, in your midst, O Jerusalem. Praise the Lord. And then our epistle reading comes from 1 Corinthians, the 11th chapter, verses 23 through 26. And this is the Apostle Paul. For I received from the Lord what I also passed on to you. The Lord Jesus, on the night he was betrayed, took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this whenever you drink it in remembrance of me. For whenever you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. The word of God for the people of God. Next song we're going to sing is Jesus Keep Me Near the Cross, uh, number 301, and we're going to sing all the verses.
tired soul shall find rest beyond the river near the cross a trembling soul love and mercy found me where the bright and morning star sheds its beams around me in the cross in the cross be my glory ever till my raptured soul shall find rest beyond the tonight comes from the gospel according to St. John, the 13th chapter. Reading from verse 1. It was just before the Passover feast, Jesus knew that the time had come for him to leave the world and go to the Father. Having loved his own who were in the world, he now showed them the full extent of his love. The evening meal was being served, and the devil had already prompted Judas Iscariot, son of Simon, to betray Jesus. Jesus knew that the Father had put all things under his power, and that he had come to, from God and was returning to God. So he got up from the meal, took off his outer clothing, and wrapped a towel around his waist. After that, he poured water into a basin and began to wash his disciples' feet, drawing drying them with the towel that was wrapped around him. He came to Simon Peter, who said to him, Lord, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus replied, You do not realize now what I'm doing, but later you will understand. No, said Peter, you shall never wash my feet. Jesus answered, Unless I wash you, you have no part with me. Then Lord Simon Peter replied, Not just my feet, but my hands and my head as well. Jesus answered, A person who has had a bath needs only to wash his feet. His whole body is clean. And you are clean, though not every one of you. For he knew who was going to betray him. And that's why he said not everyone was clean. When he had finished washing their feet, he put on his clothes and returned to his place. Do you understand what I have done for you, he asked them. You call me teacher and Lord, and rightly so, for that's what I am. Now that I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you should also wash one another's feet. I have set you an example that you should do as I have done for you. I tell you the truth, no servant is greater than his master, 
nor is a messenger greater than the one who sent him. Now that you know these things, you are blessed if you do them. And then over in 31, when he was gone, Jesus said, Now is the Son of Man glorified, and God is glorified in him. If God is glorified in him, God will glorify the Son in himself and will glorify him at once. My children, I will be with you only a little longer. You will look for me, and just as I told the Jews, so I tell you now, where I am going, you cannot come. A new command I give you, love one another. As I have loved you, so you must love one another. And by this all men will know that you are my disciples, if you love one another. The grass withers and the flower fades, but the word of our God lives forever. Right now, I'm going to ask Jake if he'll just give us some background music. And I want us to take a few minutes for silent meditation, just thinking about what we've just heard, the scriptures, about what, is, what it's all about. We've observed Lent. Now what are we going to do about it? Give us just a few minutes, Jake. I want us to take a few minutes and think about our concerns and our praises and uh, lift up any that uh, maybe we've learned about since Sunday. Okay. Okay. So praises, that these are better. Um, Gene Yates, how is he, how is he doing? Does anyone know? Nell, have you heard from Gene Yates? No, but I'm going to tell him. <laughs> okay. Jim Moore. Okay. All right. Tom had a uh, chest up of a PA or a dust bed, and as of right now, it is looking good. Fantastic. Check it, see. Fantastic. Another praise report. Right. Uh, I want y'all to remember me. Uh, I go to Macon tomorrow for my pre op uh, work. And uh, so y'all just traveling mercies as I go through all that where they are rebuilding the interstate and all that. Y'all just pray for me. <laughs> uh, that, is, that is a mess. Uh, and then uh, my surgery will be next Tuesday, but I'll see y'all on Sunday. So. Um, and...
fantastic. Praise the Lord for that. I'd love to get off about a <laughs> few of mine. Um, I did want to tell y'all, uh, and I, I have permission to, to disclose this, uh, but I want y'all to pray for the Pine Hill Church. There's folks there right now that are really hurting. Uh, they voted last Monday night to disaffiliate with the United Methodist Church. And some, some of the folks are just really hurting that, you know, this has happened. So just ask you to remember those. Uh, you know, this is not anything for, for gossip or whatever, but we just want to be in prayer for it. And some of them you know. Uh, so just be in prayer for those folks that are, that are really hurting. And uh, anything else? All right, let's go to the Lord in prayer. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks for all your many blessings. Lord, for these that have given their praise reports, Lord, we're just, we are blessed. And we give you all the praise and the glory for it. And Lord, we lift up these that still have needs. Father, you know everything we need, even before we know we need it. And so I just ask, Father, that you would meet these needs in accordance with your love and your will, that you would be with each one of these. Let them feel your presence. Because, Father, even, even when we don't get the answer we want, as long as we feel your presence, we can keep going. Father, we pray especially for those who are hurting tonight. Whatever the reason, but especially those that are associated with the Pine Hill Church. We just pray that you would give them a sense of your comfort and your presence. Father, watch over them. We just give you grace, glory, and praise for all these things. And now, in the name of Jesus, amen. And now, since nobody has a book... Except Steve and me. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and uh, we're going to do a shortened version since we don't, since nobody has anything but me and Steve. Uh, I'm sorry. I thought we were going to have the, the slides that we normally have on Communion Sunday. So, uh, But from uh, page 15, Steve. If you want to follow along. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. And Lord, we give you thanks and praise for your salvation, for Jesus' work on the cross. And now with your, comp with your people on earth and all the company of heaven, we praise your name and join their unending hymn. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Joyce, if you'll come now and we'll...
think I'm missing a finger. I've got one too many. I'm not sure. <laughs> and so with your people on earth and all the company of heaven, we praise your name and join their unending hymn. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. And so in remembrance of these, your mighty acts in Jesus Christ, we offer ourselves in praise and thanksgiving as a holy and living sacrifice in union with Christ's offering for us as we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. And now all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Let us join with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. And now we come to the time when you're sent forth into the world to make a difference for Christ's sake. 
We're going to do our closing hymn, Just As I Am, verses 1, 3, and 5. And then I'll ask you if you will come and uh, I'll ask Joyce and Nancy if they'll come and take the communion elements. And then the rest of you, uh, we need the candles and the pyramids. Uh, this is what's called stripping the church uh, because we're going into Black Saturday when everything was dark. And so you take all the, the pretties out of the church and then they're put back before Sunday, they're put back for Sunday morning and these will be white to symbolize the resurrection. So I ask you, after we finish uh, Just As I Am, if you'll just come forth and do this and take them over here and put them on the tables, and then you will be dismissed. All right, Steve. Okay, we're going to sing verses 1, 3, and 5 of Just As I Am. Okay, go ahead.